everyone's following instructions from the government about social distancing, how far apart we are. There's stickers on the floor to show where we should be standing and of course everyone's keeping our masks firmly on our faces until we get up high. First time of the midi, it looks super cool, so excited. In Chamonix, we have this outrageous lift called the Agri de Midi, which is two lifts that take you up to 3,800 meters from the valley. It's an incredibly exciting journey just to get to the thing, and then we've got to go climbing. Are we going to get altitude sickness? Almost immediately, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Climbing Daily and welcome to part two of our Alpine Gear Challenge. You last saw the both of us standing behind a table picking Alpine gear. Have you packed everything? Hopefully. Well, we'll find out in like a short second. No, no, this is the terror moment. I'm like, I've got my crampons. It'll be fine. Uh, we're up here to do the classic Cosmiques Arete, which is a wonderful one day Chamonix hit. Now, um, we're experienced climbers. Uh, I've climbed with Hugo a lot. I've climbed with Teresa a lot. We've done a lot of alpinism, but we've never climbed together as a content team. So I'm psyched for that. Now, obviously this goes without saying, but if you're a little bit unsure, if you don't know what you're doing, if you're a beginner in this, if you just want a helping hand, get an Alpine guide to literally show you the ropes. Okay, enough talking. Let's get into that tunnel and get geared up. Let's go. Okay, so we're at the top of the arete. We've got to walk down this slightly narrow, a uh, little bit scary occasionally, but really cool arete down to the glacier. Once we're on the glacier, we'll sort the ropes out for glacier travel, re-rig things, get everything ready, then we'll round the corner to the Cosmic Tourette. So we just come down the Arete and now we're off onto the glacier. Yeah, so we're walking around the corner towards the Cosmiques hut and then up the Cosmiques ridge and we're just tweaking the ropes ready for glacier travel because with those big paths up here there are crevasses we've got to watch out for. Hello, up this way. Okay, off we go on the route. And I just want to reiterate one more time, uh, please get a guide if you're new up here or you don't know what we're doing. We're just a bunch of mates climbing today uh, and showing you this incredible route. This is in no way an instructional video. Uh, please get the appropriate guides for your level of experience. Okay, cool, ready? Let's go. Woo! Pump. Okay, so we've done the first steep bit and uh, yeah, the oxygen is thinner up here and uh, well, it's a good feeling, like you appreciate oxygen in your lungs. I've got a surprise in my bag for us at the top. Hugo, I'm letting you in on this, but uh, there is a reward at the end of the climb. We're at the first abseil, there's a bit of a queue, so we're just waiting, but look at the view. You can do this section a number of different ways. You can abseil it, you can down climb it. The way we're going to approach it is I'm going to lower Hugo and Teresa down. So they're going to sort of half down climb, half be lowered. And then I'm going to down climb the section afterwards. We're just doing this for speed. Uh, we want to keep moving when we're up here and rigging a whole abseil, pulling it through, doing all that kind of faff is just not as efficient. So that's the plan. <laughs> Boom! Fast, efficient, cruised it. Safe. Matt, the down climbing legend. <laughs> Just <laughs> down climbing ever. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We're okay. <laughs> Just down climbing, right? Yeah. Wait. 
Right, we're at the first proper abseil now. It drops down about sort of 15 meters to a little flat bit, and then we continue around the corner. So we're all gonna abseil down, and uh, I'm gonna go first, set up the anchor down there, and I'll see you guys at the bottom. Okay, so we've just done the abseils, and now we're going around the corner to the crux yep. of the route. Foray climbing in crampons. How's that helmet working up, you Matt? My helmet never fits. All right, okay, look, I don't, I can't get a helmet that fits. It's not my fault. I appreciate you at home. Take like the piss all the time, but, but it's my head. What do I do? Look, it's look. wobbly, and this is on the tightest setting. Well, Shouldn't you get a kid's one? I like, no? My favorite is the ear. The ear the, is it crushing out? No, you look one. like that guy from uh, the Goonies. <laughs> so I look cool? <laughs> if anyone knows what I'm talking about, comment below. <laughs> What are your general feelings when climbing a route like this? Do you feel exhilarated, excited, scared, nervous, I petrified? I feel at peace, feel at peace with the rock and the world. Yeah. And just the cool breeze. It's so chill. I don't know. Like, oh, well, it's like you're not meant to get an adrenaline rush or anything like that either. or not that lad look at that I ain't going nowhere that So we've just come up the steep little bit uh, and throughout this route, we can put in and gear as we go. But occasionally in sections like this, you can just flick the rope around, train belay, and then just move through nice and quick. So I'm gonna go around this corner. We are almost at the hard bit of the route, which is sort of right at the very end of the route. Uh, so it kind of can catch you unawares. Little slabby section, step with a plummeting drop beneath you. And then a last little gully up onto the ridge line. So we're sort of three sections off being done. Crack's done! There's digital crack, look at that. Oh, yeah, Last little section, uh, it's a little corner that you have to step around and then you climb up this little, well this is the thing, it, it depends on the conditions, that's what's so great about the Cosmiques. I've done that thing in pure ice, I've done it in pure rock, it, it really changes every time you go up and do it, so I'll be excited to see what kind of condition it's in now. So yeah, we're just queuing for that section, we're going to pitch it in a wanna up to the ridge and then that is it, apart from the sting in the tail and possibly a surprise. So just a little interview with the intrepid Teresa. Teresa, after this expedition, where are you headed to next? I think Everest. <laughs> There's no middle ground. All or nothing. Oh, 
loader beneath you there. That was the worst English accent. I wasn't doing an English accent. <laughs> that was a Scottish one. I don't know what it was. Say, say I'd like a haggis. To, What's uh, a haggis? <laughs> hey. Oh. Oh. That's it. No. Crux pitch is done. Awesome. So I said there was a little sting in the tail of this route and it's the ladder behind me, which I genuinely think is one of the most frightening things on this route. It's rickety, it's metal, you've got crampons on and uh, you can't clip it, that's just cheating. So uh, if this is the last time I see you, Hugo, you've been like a dad to me. <laughs> I'm gonna clip Good it. Done. <laughs> Good luck. I'll have Teresa from the top, all right? Okay, all thanks. Right. Oh, oh gosh! <laughs> the sound! <laughs> <laughs> Why does it wobble so much? Um, see ya. <laughs> Hello, Teresa. You go. That's solid. Got a shake, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Top of the route. We did it. Awesome. Thank you so much, Teresa. Thank, Thank you, you, Hugo. Guys. Uh, that was sick. Um, I said I got a surprise, carried all the way up the route. Chocolate. Oh, <laughs> We've got wow. beers. Nice. We've got Alpine beers, Thank number you. one. You got Trump. Hugo. We're gonna get drunk. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate it. You Cheers. Got you got a bottle, I haven't got a bottle, no, I haven't. Uh. Yeah. yeah. What a man. Grease. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, thanks for watching Climbing Daily. Uh, remember there's a link in the description below for all the gear that we've been using today. And I've just got to say those little bright green ice axe, uh, ice screw things, I really want them from Black Diamond. Need them in my life. Right, they're coming up the ladder. We're going to drink a beer and we'll see you guys soon. See ya.